friends welcome back to a new video i'm gonna take you with in the vlog on a behind the shoot <laughs> behind the scenes of a shoot wow i can't i can't talk today for soul sing body we have one of our biggest campaign shoots ever coming up tomorrow the team has been working so hard in just pre-planning all of this it's a really big shoot for a big january campaign and it's a really transformative time i feel for Soulsing body i am such a visual person and i think for any vision you want to bring to life whether that's in your personal life or in your maybe professional life i am a big believer of visualizing manifesting things and really aligning just your thoughts with your vision almost on a daily basis you can even do that through gratitude so i'm making a mood board right now and this is the vision the new chapter and we'll bring this to set tomorrow um so so just everyone on the team can just see like you know yeah i'm gonna put this all together and then we have still so much work to do today getting everything ready for the shoot lauren came to town from tampa and then the whole team is here so yeah i am really really excited we will be doing some like nutrition stuff and like some workout stuff and it's just always really rewarding i feel when you put a lot of work into prep and stuff but then actually have the vision come to life and it also gave me a little idea that i want to do this obviously this is for the brand but i want to do this for my personal life and i was thinking maybe like doing a little vision board night or something with the girls i feel november is just such a good time already or i mean we're hoping almost in december to just kind of reflect on the year but also already start thinking about next year and visualize big dreams okay i think it's almost done okay there we go i'm gonna go to bed really early tonight because we have a really early call time the sun goes down really early in la right now so around like 4 15 so our shoot needs to start much earlier otherwise we won't have any daylight so lucky me okay i'm gonna finish it and then feel like when you're a little kid the night before christmas you just can't sleep or your birthday may be better idea like before your birthday you just like all up all night i felt that was me last night i honestly wish i slept a little bit more but i think i was just so excited and i also had so much on my mind today's gonna be a really big day i'm so excited i feel energized also <laughs> a little tired it's still so early though it's like 6 a.m so i'm gonna get my skin prepped my hair prepped and we're heading out into shoot so the best part about being the model on a shoot day is that I get to show up without getting my hair and makeup done because they are gonna do that on set, which is gonna be really, really nice. I am quickly going to blow dry my hair though because I don't wanna get sick. I feel it's like really cold outside. And I'm gonna use the Leifan blow dryer. I absolutely love this one i'm also really excited to be partnering up with them for today's video i have the exact same one in my amsterdam home and i needed a different one because the plug obviously doesn't work in the us and europe the same this one blow dries your hair so quickly and it's something that i really need because even though i have very 
thin and fine hair if i just let it air dry it probably takes like two hours and even sometimes with a blow dryer it just takes forever and i don't have that much time in the morning so it also has different types of settings from red orange to blue which is like cool warm and then hot which is really nice so you can protect your hair by using different types of temperatures especially when it's wet i'm gonna time for you guys how long this is actually taking for me to blow dry my hair i'm also really curious i am almost sure it's gonna take a couple minutes they have a really massive black friday sale on their website now where i think it's like up to 40 percent off and i also have a special code for myself where you get an extra ten dollars so i'm gonna link all of that down below okay there we go dried see how long it's getting i've been protecting it so well guys literally three minutes and i would say five seconds and my hair is all dry this is literally amazing honestly i feel this is such a good holiday gift either for someone else or if you want to treat yourself again i'm going to link everything down below because you should definitely use their black friday sales also if you have curly hair it comes with this thing I don't have curly hairs, so I don't use it, but it's really helpful if you have different types of hair. Okay, I really need to hurry now because Lauren is ready. I'm gonna get dressed and head over to set. <laughs> You're like, like about to get ready. <laughs> I'm just full blown like diva. <laughs> like oh <laughs> going out God. for the night at 6 a.m. <laughs> I love it. Good morning, we are a little more awake. We got our caffeinated drinks. <laughs> the drink of choice <laughs> matcha latte with pistachio milk for me and lemon wheatgrass maca for me lauren doesn't drink coffee or matcha but we definitely needed a little caffeine today oh my god it is really gorgeous out so pretty. the light is coming through i think it will be really good i think all the girls are in the studio soon We just made it into the studio. We got Ellen and yes. Sophie. This is gonna be the studio and then here, here we got all the outfits. Love that. I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. At my phone like every other second My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light <laughs> Oh, but then you came And sat right next to me Your eyes, they glowed And filled me up We had never met Before that time But I just knew That we'd end up You took it, you, you took it Bella, what are we doing? We are staging the fruits. We're gonna get some shadowy and sunlight photos of it. Oh my this God. is my favorite place. So pretty. This one looks so good, I wanna bite into it. <laughs> <laughs> we are shooting the last shots of the day. We've been here since 7 this morning. It's been a full day. Team is working super hard. Here you can see the mood board. A lot of green, orange, fruit, close-up workout shots. I am so excited to see the result of today. It's gonna be so much nice content. So we just finished shooting today. It's been a long day. How are you feeling, Sana? I don't know, feeling tired, happy. No, it was a really good day. We honestly did so many different things. I've like peaked sometimes like in between shots, but like I don't feel I've like a full overview of how everything looks like, but I think it's gonna look really amazing. I saw some, it looked amazing. Yeah, I'm really happy. But Great job. Do it without the whole team here. <laughs> came back from the shoot 
Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Hello. I'm a year. It's Max in the vlog. Yeah. <laughs> the vlog. I got an email of you from Soul Saint Body, and I was like, why am I getting thirst trap? And I was like, oh, that's my wife. So oh yeah. What a crazy trip I've been on. So I can get my 17th trip to Japan. 17, that's crazy. I'll call you in like five minutes. Love you. Okay, I came back from the shoot and I just immediately had to take a shower. I am exhausted, but it was so fun. So different being on set and just we have truly worked with the whole team on this shoot for so many days and have put so much hard work into that and I'm honestly so proud of them and putting this whole vision together and today everything just kind of came together and we were doing like video and photos and all of that and it was truly amazing and I saw a little bit on the screen some photos but not everything so I'm really excited to see the photos, but I think it turned out like so good. But we were kind of outside and stuff, and by the end of it, I was absolutely freezing. So I was craving something warming. Some pho. Let's see what we got. I love pho. Let's see. I also ordered a side of veggies from bok choy. I always like to add extra veggies to the pho. Wow, I am going to take a little nap. Not a little nap, I think I need a winter sleep. Also, I feel my body's going to be so stiff because when we shoot, I always, you know, get into like really weird poses and hold stretches and stuff sometimes for a long time. So it can sometimes be a little challenging. Let's see if the broth is still warm. Maybe I need to warm it up a little. Mmm. Oh my god, it is so good. I'm gonna show you quickly what I got. So the bok choy. These are just some like bean sprouts and lime. The broth, so tasty. And then I got steak with rice noodles. So I'm gonna put that together and then make a delicious meal. So tomorrow we have another shoot, which will be much easier because it's kind of a half day here in the kitchen. So that's why everyone kind of <laughs> takes it very easy tonight. And I just was like, I want to order in and everyone was just so tired. I want to go home. And then tomorrow we can do another shoot and then probably go out together as a team. Mm. Yum. This is exactly what I needed right now. You know what I really miss? There was this one restaurant in Brooklyn. I forgot what it was, D&D, &D, I think. It was a Vietnamese restaurant and they had these really big Vietnamese pancake like crepes almost. Almost like an Indian dough sound. And they folded together and it was so delicious. I need to find a place in LA where they make those because I really like those. And I haven't had it in forever. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm gonna enjoy my food. And take it easy. I have to say, I just have Max on the phone and he's still in Japan and it's kind of crazy. I think this is the year that we have been apart the most. Like I think he's been in Japan for four months straight and I had a lot of people asking me like how I was feeling about that and I do think that long distance is really hard but I do think that you can always make it work with good communication and being able to prioritize when you're really together and I feel because we're so much apart when we're together, it's just such an amazing time and we spend a lot of really present time together. And I also really know in my head that this is just temporary and this is really, you know, to build up Nekohama to a place where it can run itself in Japan. And I just noticed this is just a very important stage where he needs to be there on the ground and that it's not forever. And I always just like try to remember that but obviously sometimes you know it's weird because like we're married and now it feels like oh sometimes we're in a long long distance relationship but i think like when having me like i really love my alone time and my peace i something i really noticed that sharing meals is really like one of my favorite things and that's the one thing like when i eat 
I don't want to watch TV, but like I also don't want to just, I don't know, look forward to me. Like I want to have conversation and sit down and whatever. And I think those are the moments I do like miss him the most. And I don't know, some of you might like relate to this or yeah, I don't know. I sometimes also just like call a friend or FaceTime or whatever. And for anyone who lives alone, you know, I feel that's always like such a fun activity too. Like when eating, like cooking with other people and like sharing a meal with someone. But it's weird. I feel that in that moment the most where I'm like, okay, now I'm long distance. Besides that, I feel kind of like, I feel I always like do a lot of things and have so many amazing friends and stuff. So I kind of keep myself busy, I would say, but yeah, definitely the moments. And I feel these are also the moments that I just really love picking up my camera because I feel connection here and I feel, I don't know, I love and enjoy chatting with you guys so much. And I just feel these are the moments that we can chat and like, I don't know, do little light updates and stuff like that. So I'm sorry if I'm eating and chatting.